What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today we have a very special video, a little unboxing action. Uh, the Tolarian Community College academic finally came in. Uh, this was one of the most successful Kickstarter campaigns ever. Um, funded a ton of amazing content uh, from the professor and their channel, Tolarian Community College. And it's been a quite a bit of a wait um, with like shipping problems and and supply chains. Uh, obviously, Gamegenic is the title constructor here. Their logo is all over the box, um, but it was extremely successful and they finally shipped. Uh, I'm in the Pacific Northwest in Canada, so it obviously took a little bit longer to get here as well. So add that on top of uh, delayed shipping and delayed uh, parts and manufacturing. We finally got it a little over a year later. Very excited that it's finally here and we're going to do a little unboxing for you today uh, and maybe some first impressions. If you haven't yet, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to get those subscriber numbers up. And it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that little subscribe button. If you want to hit the bell and get notified when we post new videos, we're trying to do uh, more deck techs, more gameplay footage, but also we're continuing to develop our Delver show where we take a look at the standard and competitive formats of Magic the Gathering. So if you're into those kind of things, uh, I think we've got something that you might like. We've also got a, an awesome t-shirt uh, company partnered with uh, bonfire if you go to bonfire.com slash store slash equip we've got some really cool designs for you uh, if you love magic the gathering it's got innuendos and references to famous characters places even cards uh, and flavor text keywords all of it we we are really excited about those pieces of merch and we can't wait to to bring more without further ado Let's take a look. It's a little dark. Maybe I could turn my light up a bit. Um, hold on one sec. Where's my light? That's a different one. I need to move this. It's behind my keyboard. Popped up for a second. There we go. There we go. Well, that's pretty bright, but uh, I think we'll just have to deal. I feel like my camera is adjusting to the brightness a little too much, which is a shame, but. I'll have to fix that uh, a little bit later, but let's crack this bad boy open. So this is the box, has the Academic 133 Plus XL, which is the model I specifically ordered. Um, I got the black purple one because I like the color combination that they put together for that. Um, on this side, it says after a successful journey. And then on the flip side, there is always a new adventure. If you don't watch Brian and um, the Tolarian Community College channel, you really should. They're one of the best on the market. Um, one of the nicest and most generous content creators out there. Obviously know a ton about Magic and have some of the best circle of Magic players and friends in the game. So you've got lots of cool content coming out with you know people that you know and love and see all over the place. Um, some weird sticker placements, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to open it like that. Okay. It opens up. It says, start your own journey. And then it's got this gorgeous, um, little peekaboo window and it has, I can't really see it there, but, um, it has a really beautiful peekaboo window with the Tolarian community college logo. Um, peeking through there on the box so you open it up oh boy that's gorgeous the packaging on this is meticulous look how nicely that opens up like that um, 
What do we got here? We got, oh, a little thank you with a serialized number on it. Ours is number 32,969. I can't remember what, if I ordered any extras. I know I got, I got this size morph divider, which we'll take a look at in a sec, but as far as there was a bunch of like tokens and dye and stuff like that. Um, oh, cool. Nice little blank token. Some merfolk. These must have been stretch goals. Ooh, shiny treasures. Look at those. Those are really cool. Look at these. Gorgeous cards. And they've got the little, the black lotus and the Talarian, I guess, textbook for the treasures. The merfolk are really beautiful too, obviously. If you don't know Prof, Prof is a huge merfolk fan. And then another blank token. That's really cool. Those are awesome. And it says, your achievement rewards. Pick me up. Your next adventure begins. All right. Pick you up. There's a beautiful Talarian logo there. This box is great. I love how it kind of just like falls apart and isn't like super static put that over here so first impression is that this outside almost suede like material is is really interesting to the touch um it does feel like it could get dinged up quite a bit over the time but i've always been kind of a fan of having stuff dinged up especially stuff like this because it means that you're using it a lot you're traveling with it um the embossment on here is is super super amazing really well done embossing on this uh suede like material game genic logo here um yeah it's really nice there's a few like odd stitching errors down here um and a little bit of glue seeping through but this wasn't like this wasn't an expensive deck box. I have to remind you that, you know, these were fair priced. They were um, average for deck boxes. I don't think that they charged much more than just the normal version of, you know, a large game genic deck box. So it's, you're kind of expecting a little bit of blemishes. I'm, I'm really liking that there's like no blemish in the actual like walls. Just a little bit of stitching and glue blemish on this one side. Everything else looks so perfect and well made. So Gamegenic is known for their like complete convertible tops. So this one is unlike or like many others where the top completely comes off and you've got this gorgeous suede. Um, I guess you could use this for like a mini playmat or just to organize some cards. Um, beautiful, beautiful silver inlay. It's not, is that inlaid? No, it's just an embossment. Um, Talarian Community College logo, that is stunning. The camera's really not picking up how beautiful this purple is. I have to give them credit for that. It's gorgeous. And then, so you can put this on the bottom and it will hold it like that, which is great. You can kind of open it up and travel with it. Um, and then you've got this little drawer that flops open. And this here is two fully functioning drawers for counters. You can even put cards in here. Um, they're a little bit stiff to come out, but they are, it is brand new. I'm the first most likely human being to touch this. So it's a little sticky, but it feels great. Everything feels really well made. And then you just close that up and everything's safe. Here is another great place to store uh, tokens and cards. I'm sure these will hold here. Let me grab, I have a bunch of tokens and whatnot and cards beside me. So these will obviously store sleeved cards, um, 
doesn't look big enough to store like a plain chase card, but we've got a huge uh, box divider in here. We've got um, a nice little snack, which is great. Don't actually eat those. And then we've got this little divider, which can go in and out of this one slot to keep things separate. And I believe that's so that you can put cards standing upright right here. Let me just grab a handful of cards. I have actually another Game Genic product that I quite love, and we're gonna do a review of these deck boxes shortly. Uh, but for right now, let's grab this deck. This is my Pioneer deck that I'm currently playing. And everything fits perfectly snug in there. You could fit two full decks in here with sideboard. If you're playing 60 card, you can fit well over um, a double sleeved commander deck in here. And this that's what this divider here is for is to if you want to just do naked cards, you keep the divider in there and it will keep your cards nice and safe and tight against the side. And then I suppose you could put um, a bunch of different things down the side here. You could put more tokens, you could put um, larger cards, dungeon cards maybe even on the side there, which is really cool. And then you can remove it and essentially the way they've planned this out is that you can take any of these ga other game genic products or most other products and you can fit it in here just in case you want to put a deck box inside a deck box. I wonder with the lid off, could you put this whole deck box in this way? Oh, you could. So I don't know why you would ever want to do this, but the fact that they designed it to fit this is, is interesting. Um, maybe you could fit even, I'm just gonna put this aside. Put my deck over here. Maybe you could fit a handful of, you could fit two dragon shield boxes and a couple cards. You could actually fit these probably with the divider in. Um, you can't fit two deck, two dragon shield boxes sideways. We've got these ultra pro flip top alcoves. Those fit in here perf nicely, almost perfectly front to back. Um, that's really cool. I like that it's just got a large space for you there. Uh, this, it wants me to peel this off. Why? These are really neat too, these hard pieces of plastic, because there's some use for it. How do I get this? If you want me to peel it off, give me like a lip to grab onto or something. The fact that there's nothing for me to grab there's a little tear in the bottom corner here. These are really great because um, in a pinch, you could even use these as life counters or a, uh, a life sheet. And they work great with dry erase markers. Um, I can't get this other side off. Oh, well, there we go. I got a corner. Now this video has just turned into me trying to peel off this plastic for two minutes. So it's this really nice kind of piece of plexiglass or plastic. And you these this works really great with a dry erase marker. Um, you can keep your score on here. Pretty, pretty awesome. And yeah, it just slots in and you put your deck in there. Uh, my deck's right here. Slot your deck in there, put your counters and stuff in these side drawers, and you're good to go. I think this is an amazing product. As if I needed any other reason to support um, the Tolarian Community College page, Brian and all he's doing over there, um, I have one more great reason, and that is because they're really keen on making the best products and showing up for the magic community. Um, they don't want to, you know, put their name or their brand or their logo on 
you know, bad products or products that aren't worth your time. And this really goes to prove it. They worked long and hard with Game Genix and their design team to come up with their perfect deck box because they're obviously known for reviewing a lot of products and, and deck boxes is one of them. So um, uh, let's check out this. So these size morph things are really, really cool because sometimes you don't have, I use the dragon shield boxes as basically substitutes for these. I'll always put like a dragon shield box in a space to fill it so that my cards aren't flopping all over the place. But these size morph things kind of take up however much space you need in order to fill that space. So it's a little bit smaller than a dragon shield, but it's almost perfect to fit this full deck in here. Actually, if I grab my sideboard, it might be perfect exactly. Throw my sideboard in there. It's pretty darn close to perfect. And I think that that's, that's really cool. I can bring my, my deck, I can bring maybe even an extra deck, um, a bunch of tokens. This is the perfect thing to travel to uh, a tournament with. It's the perfect thing to travel to your friend's place with. Um, and it's really well made. It's not gonna come off. It's not gonna open up. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. I think huge kudos to um, the Talarian Community College team, the Game Genix team, and everyone that helped kind of bring this to life and ship them out and manufacture them. This is huge. Congratulations to, to you guys. And um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next, honestly. Can't wait. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna do some more product reviews uh, shortly. I'm working on kind of a format for them. This was just kind of an unboxing and a first impression. So I might have to give this a review after six months or so to let you know how much I'm using it, what I found that, that I liked and disliked about it. But off the bat, this is an amazing product. And hopefully, even if you weren't part of the Kickstarter, hopefully you get an opportunity to pick up one of these um, in the near future. Otherwise, if you were a part of the Kickstarter, I hope you get yours and you enjoy it. Thank you so much, Prof and GameGenix. Thank you guys so much for watching these. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, whether or not you got in on this Kickstarter project. Let me know if your number beats my number. Uh, I'm 32,969. Nice. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.